Hey, it's Software Engineering Student, and today we're going to do a tutorial how to set up JavaFX with IntelliJ. So first of all, let's go to uh, JavaFX. There will be a link down in the description. And we would click on Download. We would find the newest version, JavaFX 15. I would do Windows 64 SDK. Download. I get a zip folder. I would go and extract it first. To just uh, open the zip folder. I would take my newly opened uh, JavaFX and copy and go into my local disk, or you could put it wherever you want. You just need to uh, be able to find it again later. So for now, we have it right here. I would then open uh, IntelliJ. And you might have something open already, that's fine. So we'll just go to File, New, Project. And we would create a JavaFX project. Give it a name. We would just do a first JavaFX. And let's just keep it in this window. So when first creating a JavaFX, you're going to have a file structure with a sample package that contains a controller and a main menu. But right now we just have the basic and IntelliJ actually don't know or haven't been connected to our JavaFX things yet. So we would go on to our project file, project structure, libraries, add, a Java thing. We would go into our C folder, which you would probably be in already, at least I am. We're going to find our JavaFX thing we just downloaded, go inside the next folder, and we're going to click on our lib library folder. Click OK, click OK, and apply and OK. So now we added the library stuff from JavaFX. Basically, it's a library we're going to add, so we're going to add the functionality. So for right now, there's a problem with JavaFX and IntelliJ. So if I just run it now, we actually get an error. Because it still can't find the exact location. So what we have to do, when you get this error, is you're going to search for IntelliJ JavaFX VM options. Or I will have the, the stuff you need down in the description. So what you could do is you could find it here on IntelliJ's own website, because they know of this problem. So what we need is this line, copied. It, this, this specific uh, line of code will be in the description, so don't worry too much about this. But what you need to do is go into your, click on the main, edit configurations. So the problem is it can't actually find the exactly destination. So what we do, need to do is we need to add some help for it to find it. So we're in the main, Main class, which means when running the JavaFX through the main class, how do we find JavaFX libraries? So, some of you might already have a, we have these different boxes with a kind, which are inputs. Some of you might already have a VM option, some of you might not. Because I, like me, I don't, so you just mouse over and down here you can see what it is. It again, uh, nope, so you do modify options and then add VM options, or you can click Alt V. VM options, just just expand, and we would copy paste the the link from my description, and let's just see what it says. So you need module path, you need to, the exact path to our JDK. How you get this path? If by opening a folder, going into the C disk like before, opening. The destination we found before and go inside your library folder and then up here if you click on windows computer you can just click here and you do control alt control a control c to copy this specific path to our library folder and we would just paste it right there so now we have module line line module path the exact module path, and then we're going to add the module. So we tell it this is the specific module path to a library folder. And now we'll click apply and run. And when we now run the program, we would get this basic hello world 
white box, which means the program is running correctly. So if you get this, uh, this box to pop up when running the program, you're done and it's set up correctly. So the basics is add the libraries, add the VM options, and you should be good to go. All the stuff you're going to need will be in the description. Hope to see you soon and have a nice day.